Today, we kick our taste buds up a bit by turning olive oil into a spicy masterpiece. And you're gonna learn how to do it. Welcome back to 999 Things to Cook. We start with our chilies. I have a big bag of hot chilies. Not sure on the correct pronunciation and I don't care either. We will use the whole bag today. But since that isn't enough, I also have some red Thai chilies. These suckers are extra hot. A good handful should work. We take a few of them and set them aside for the end. I've got them on a cutting board to give them a rough chop, but I have a better idea. Just throw them all into a food processor and blitz them. Since these chilies are not bone dry, but rather a nice leathery texture, they will not grind up into a powder. And that's good, because we just want them to be roughly chopped. They will still be in big chunks and that's totally fine. Then take a pot and dump them all in. Do not turn the heat on the pot yet until the oil is added. Now I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of chilies. So we dump in a whole bunch of crushed red pepper flakes just to be on the safe side. Then we dump in our olive oil. Just regular olive oil, not the extra virgin stuff. I don't know how much oil this is. I'm making two bowls worth. No measuring allowed in the kitchen. Then we turn the heat on medium low and walk away for two minutes. When the oil starts to heat up, turn the heat down to very low. You will want to stir it up every minute or so. The oil should be hot, but never ever simmering. Just hot enough so that you will smell the chilies in the oil. When you can smell that lovely aroma, it will cook on low for only 10 minutes. Now don't be fooled. You will see movement in there and lots of small bubbles. That's the moisture escaping from the chilies. The oil is not extremely hot. If your oil is too hot, you will ruin the flavor of the olive oil. After 10 minutes, the oil will start to turn red in color. This is what you want. It won't even feel like you have cooked it long enough when the oil is red, but just turn the heat off. Then take everything out of the pot. I'm just dividing it back into the two bowls that I started with. You will let these sit for an hour or more to cool almost all the way down. You can use this stuff right away if you want, or store it so it keeps getting hotter. Let's bottle one up. I have an old clean whiskey bottle and just for fun, put the chilies into the bottle that we had set aside. Then use a funnel and make sure to pour the oil through a strainer. Now you have your own bottle of chili oil that looks great. And trust me, this is really spicy and delicious. Now this bowl, I'm going to seal up and store for two months in a cool, dark place so that it gets wicked hot. I'm not even gonna get into all the different things that you can cook with this, but I'm just going to have it with some bread. Some salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese, Pecorino Romano cheese, and mix it into a loose paste. You can add fresh herbs if you want. 